Let me know if you guys have any cellulite in your front yard. I have it in my front and my backyard. That's so rude. Hi everyone, welcome to Jen the Real Fluencer, where we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and certainly on the fashion side with a focus on mid-size curvy such as myself. So welcome if you are new here. Let's talk about shorts, baby. Yes, okay, uh, give this video a like if you know that song reference. <laughs> Okay, well, I've done a good amount of shorts content on my channel this year. I will certainly link it. What do you wear if you hate to wear shorts? I tested a bunch of shorts from Walmart. This is my first summer, woo, in like 15 years wearing shorts. So if that is you, please give this video a like. Before we get started, give me your tips. Well, I can learn from you. Please leave me, leave us your tips. I want your tips. Okay. Size up. That is usually going to serve us well. Kind of leading into my next example. Often when you size up, your legs are kind of swimming. If maybe swimming is not the right word, but the more they swim <laughs> in the leg holes, the thinner your legs are going to look. It's perfect if you can find like fitted at the waist, baggy in the pants. These uh, scoop shorts that I have found from Walmart are the absolute best for that. If you are not familiar with Walmart fashion, dang, you are missing out. If you're not familiar with the scoop shorts, also dang, you are missing out. I can certainly link some of them below. It's like the legs are made to be bigger. They are just perfection. Definitely go for a longer inseam. I mean, I think just as we all get older, and I don't think that you have to wear anything at a certain age, like I'm not one of those people. Like if you wanna wear booty shorts when you're 55, like I think that you should do that. That is fine, <laughs> honestly. But you know, most of us probably don't wanna do that and that's fine too. I have found that if it's not at least three inches, I'm probably like, ooh. I don't wanna keep talking about the scoop shorts, that's not what this video is gonna be about. But those shorts, the backside is also made to be a little bit longer. So I feel like four inches is like the golden Number. It's short enough that it's like, yeah, these are short shorts, but they're not Bermuda shorts and they're not frumpy shorts. I'm not into frumpy. That's just me. I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt, so take that for what it's worth. And I have a, I have a bun on top of my head and you know, like I'm 35, so okay. Finding ones that are a thinner material. And where I said to size up, what comes along with sizing up is, you know, bagginess. Find ones that have a little bit of a thinner material, not like ones that are just like see-through and cheap, purposely thin in all the right places, even if, you know, Know, you sized up because of your legs they're not then gonna make your stomach area just have all this extra bulk we probably have a stomach there that has enough bulk that we feel comfortable with right we don't want more all right let's talk about tuck and untuck and all that kind of stuff if you're gonna tuck in your shirt into the shorts have that material angle down just a little bit you would be so surprised at the difference that makes with just that slight bit angle it gives a slimming effect to your waist I have found for me personally Having an untucked shirt along with shorts probably makes me look thinner. I definitely do wear shirts tucked into shorts, so don't get me wrong, because sometimes they're just made for that, right? It's, that's just my opinion. Tell me if you have a different opinion. I would love to hear. And then just kind of to piggyback that tip, I would say are undoubtedly gonna wear something tucked into them. Have them maybe be darker shorts. So or a pair of, say, black shorts. You know, that's probably going to look better than a pair of white shorts. Speaking of your stomach area showing or even saddlebag hip dip situation, consider wearing shapewear. I did a whole video on my capsule shapewear wardrobe. I will certainly link it for you. And I know you're thinking, oh, shapewear, Jen, that sounds terrible. Yeah, it does. But I have a ton of shapewear options that are light shaping versus heavy shaping. Those are going to give just like a little bit of contour for you, but they're not going to take any extra time to go to the bathroom, particularly with the type of shorts that are like those soft shorts. I would liken it to an undershirt. You probably feel just a little bit more confident, right? I wear an undershirt every single day of me life. Also, if you're tucking a shirt into shorts and you're worried about muffin top, this could help with that too. I will link some good shapewear options for you for shorts. In terms of just feeling more confident with your legs, consider leg makeup. There are two products that I actually just talked about in my tanning video. This video is just me promoting all my other videos. I should like my videos, right? Otherwise, uh, why do them? Veins in your legs. I mean, it's just like wearing makeup on your face, right? It, it evens everything out. I talked about two specific products in there. The one product I was even wearing earlier today was wearing them with a white pair of shorts. Now I wasn't outside sweating and all that good jazz. I took the shorts off 
It wasn't even on the inside of the white shorts. I'll certainly link those below for you. Now this is only gonna go with certain types of looks, of course, consider wearing heels. The longer we can make our legs, certainly the more that they're going to better, thinner, all the things. This up even further is whatever your skin tone is, wear nude heels or even clear. A lot of clear shoes that are like sandals. Doesn't matter how tall you are, it's always gonna help. I have noticed that cuffs in general seem to wanna make the leg a little bit smaller. Bigger the leg, the smaller your leg looks, I mean bigger the leg holes, but the cuff often combats that a little bit. Now, if you can find a cuff that still has a nice big leg, that's great, and I have found some like that. I have also noticed that shorts that tend to go like that up on the side a little bit, like how I said about the waist going up like that, I've noticed those do something for your legs. Another example is certainly wear like a kimono or some kind of a long duster cardigan. That just completely covers your legs. My cellulite has started coming up to the front. Apparently it thinks it's welcome in the front of my leg, which is interesting because it's not welcome. Before it was like, oh, okay, she lives out back. The cellulite lives out back, okay. But now she thinks she's welcome up front, which is so rude. It's so rude, okay. Um, let me know if you guys have any cellulite in your front yard. I have it in my front and my backyard. That's so rude. Another idea is to kind of think of your legs like a contour. You think about contouring the face. I'm not telling you I do this all that often, but it is an idea, so you could certainly try it. I know a lot of makeup artists do this. Body highlighter down the middle of your legs. I would say as a general rule of thumb, just in fashion, balance out the showing of the skin. You know, that's actually, I think, one of the reasons why I really like shorts with long sleeve shirts. If you're gonna wear shorts, maybe don't consider wearing like a tube top. Obviously do it if you friggin' wanna do it. It's not so much skin. And particularly half of that is like an area that you're super not confident with. Maybe I wanna be confident in all the other things that I'm projecting. And then lastly, but not leastly, I would consider rompers. I think rompers get a bad name because the bathroom sounds scary. I'm here to tell you, yeah, it sucks. It sucks to be in a public restroom naked on the toilet while my romper is around my ankles. Okay, that's a picture for you. If you're, you know, kind of curvy or whatever, I'm here and I'm happy to say rompers and jumpsuits are flattering on us. They just are, they just are. Often they have something that can cinch your waist, give you even more shape, flowy, kind of looser material. So again, the whole idea that your leg could be swimming in the short holes. FAT looks better tan. I, I half joke, you guys. I'm not calling myself fat. Don't don't come for me. Um, you know, but mm, it looks better tan. Okay. <laughs> I, my cellulite looks better tan. I don't know about your cellulite. I always want to say flavors. Uh, different. What's the word? Different shades. Different shades. It comes in different shades. Okay. It's like my fifth video that I'm filming today. Light different. coverage, not heavy coverage or heavy firming, I should say. Not yet, what am I talking about coverage? Shaping, shapewear does shaping, yeah. So if you don't mind my goofballiness, I am a super goofbally. Um, and, and consider subscribe, did I already say that? Yeah, consider subscribing, okay. You can dump me later. You don't have to text me and it's fine. <laughs>